Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In the past, I've shown you how to stop round kicks. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can stop a snap kick, a flick kick coming to the groin. Make sure you stick around to the end because I will be showing you three different options. One where you step away, the second one you jam, and the third one you intercept. If you're new to the channel, you may wanna consider subscribing so that way you can stay up to date with all the different videos I'm posting on a weekly basis. And you may wanna check some of my other videos where I'm showing you different techniques, how-tos, tutorials, etc. Guys, let's not waste time. Let's get started. Okay, I've got my son David who's gonna help me shoot this video. And when someone's coming at you with a snap kick, the snap kick or flick kick, whatever you wanna call it, it's coming straight to your groin. Many times that attack will be followed by a straight punch to the face. Okay, so let's say David is kicking, snap kick, boom, boom, and that punch is coming straight to your face. So what we're gonna to do today for all three different options, I'm going to follow up with a puck up. I'm just gonna keep it very simple. So let's say, as I just mentioned a moment ago, I'm not ready for this kick, right? I could be facing in a different direction, whatever. And then suddenly I see this person who's trying to attack me. He comes in with a snap kick, I step away. Okay, that's the first thing. When I step away, I just put first hand down to stop the kick and the second one to protect my face. So then if that kick and punch is coming, I step away, boom, and then I can counter attack with a puck up. I go one, I get away, boom, and then I can follow up with a puck up. So that's the first option. Step away and then follow up. The next one, the same attack is coming, but as I said, now I'm in the fight. Now I'm ready for it. So if I'm already in a fighting stance, and I see the kick come, I may want to just jam and then follow up. I've got already my lead leg there, and it's the quickest option for me to stop any possible kick coming low. So when the kick comes, I jam, and then I follow up with the puck up. The one, he comes in, pull my jam, and then follow up. One more time, I jam, and then follow up. The third one, you could say it's a bit more advanced when your timing and distance is really good. This time I'm intercepting. So from here I intercept and then I follow up with the puck cell. One, I intercept and then follow up with the puck cell. So those are the three stages when dealing with a snap kick coming to your groin. All right, now I'm gonna show you how you would practice these techniques with a training partner, just working on it continuously all three options and it would look something like this. Of course, the third option is quite dangerous for the person attacking. So you want to be in sync with the person you're working with so you don't hurt their knee, okay? So that's it guys. Make sure, as I always say, every technique I show you, you must practice it both sides. Just to keep these videos kind of short, I just show you the one side and we only do a few reps. You have to work on it many times until it becomes second nature, until it becomes reflexive on both sides. Perfect guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, share it with a friend. Make sure you work on these techniques, incorporate it into your training. And that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.